I'm here on the blank events page that I set up in my last video, and I want to go ahead and start adding content to this page. We can do that by adding rows, columns, and sections. So there's a couple different ways to do this. First of all, we can click on this blank area, and you can see it says it's a row. There's a blue box here that says row. Then within the row is an empty column. Rows and columns are containing elements. That's where you're going to drag and drop content into. We can set different settings based on the row, which is kind of the parent container. We could set this row to be full bleed, meaning we want it to go to each edge. We could set a background. We could set a background color for this row. See, it's black. We can set a shadow and some other spacing options. So I'm actually going to get rid of my style in here. I personally don't like to style the row kind of parent containers themselves. I like to style the content I drop in. So within this empty column, we could go to our widgets panel and we can start dragging out individual content blocks. So first of all, I'm going to drag out an H1 and it says new title. And let's just say events, since this is our events page, I'm going to highlight it and let's just center it and click this green checkbox. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of spacing below the header. It's a little bit tight for me here. So there's a couple ways to do this. We could right click on the element or control click and go to the edit design option and go to spacing and add some spacing in there. Or an even faster way, if we close out of there, is we can just grab this kind of bounding box on the top and drag it down. And that's going to do the same thing. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add a content block below this. Now we need to ask ourselves, can the content that we have sit in the same row? Is it going to have the same background and the same consistent style elements? Or do we need to create a brand new section for it? Well, I just want to add text, so I'm going to go to my widgets and I'm going to drag a text block out and drop it in below. So for my needs here, it can be in the same row. So we can write anything we need to in here. Let me grab some lorem ipsum. Okay, I've got my lorem ipsum and I'll paste it in. And there's my text box and I can just hit this green close button when I'm done there. Now below this row, what I want to do is add some sort of cool photo gallery or something like that. The fastest way to do this is click this blue plus symbol and it says add section. And if we bring that up, it gives us a whole bunch of pre-styled sections that we can add in. So I'd recommend you look through here and see if you can find a section that's going to work for what you're looking to do. We can add, let's say a logo block or a team block, something like that. Let's add a team block. And if we just choose a section, it adds it in automatically and we can click save. So that's how easy it is to build a stacking layout in Architect and how fast you can create a full website. If we decided we didn't want this block, you can see that it's contained by a row. We can just click on the row icon and select delete and it's going to delete each of these out. If we want to manually add columns to a row, we can go over to our widgets panel here. And if I go down to the basic section, this gives us some structural elements. So we've got a one column, two column, three, four. I'm going to add a four column layout just below here. And you can see that's created a whole new row. And now I could just go ahead and manually build a four column layout within that section. If I wanted this just to be a photo gallery, however, there's a faster way to do that. I could delete out my row and I could just use a photo gallery widget and drop it down there in a new row. So you can see it comes pre-populated with four photos. Now I want these photos to be full width. So what I need to do here is I need to select the containing row. And if I click on the option and go edit design, I can set this to be a full bleed row. And there, my photos are instantly full width and they even have caption overlays and can launch in a light box or to a unique link. The last thing I want to cover is the difference between padding and margins. So if I wanted to add some space into this area, there's a couple ways to do it. We could go to our widgets panel and we could use a spacer element right here, drag it out, and then it lets us just manually add a gap in any way. So that works fine. I'll delete that out for now. Another option to achieve this is to add some margin and padding. So if I select this containing row that my photo gallery is in and I click edit design, then I click on the spacing tab, we can add either some margin on the top. So margin is basically spacing outside of the frame or we can add some padding and padding is basically space within the frame. This will come into play when you have a background color within a frame area. So if you've got a black background in a frame, if you add margin, it's going to add white space outside of that frame. And if you've got padding added, it's going to add space within the frame, which is going to use that black background color.
I hope this helps clarify the difference between margins and padding, as you're going to be using it quite a bit as you construct your site layout in Architect. In our next video, let's dig into the specific widgets within our widgets panel, and I'll show you how powerful they can be to construct your site.